Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am back to talk about some really popular overhyped Arabian fragrances. I have a few in my collection that I purchased myself and some was gifted to me and I want to go through all of them and give you guys my opinion in terms of quality, the scent bubble, the way that they last, the presentation, and if they are worth your money. Now keep in mind these are extremely affordable in my opinion. Like when we're comparing these to niche fragrances or even designer fragrances, this is a fraction of the cost, okay? Most of these fragrances are all on under $50, which is insane to me. I do find a lot of the Arabian fragrances are a dupe for really popular scents. And I'm trying to get fragrances that just smell like their own. I'm not really into getting a ton of dupes in my collection because they will just sit there and collect dust because I already have the original. So I'm looking for fragrances that have their own uniqueness and personality. So let's go through these fragrances. As always, I will link everything down below. If I have a coupon code, I will link it down below. And for all my Canadian girlies, these are still available in Canada. You can either get them on Amazon, directly from the website and all that stuff. So I will link everything down below for you guys. And uh, if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Karina Waldron. I'd love if you join our beautiful Smell Good family and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this one because it's fresh on the market and it's one that I really do feel like you guys need to get, especially for my gourmand girlies. Like jump on this right now. This is Eclair from Latafa. It's the newest launch and they already have a new fragrance coming out very soon again. <laughs> like Latafa does not sleep. This one is a gourmand fragrance, especially when you just look at the bottle, you can tell that it's dripping in goodness. Okay. It's dripping in caramel. It just looks absolutely delicious. And you know what? They did not fail with this one. It is a beautiful, milky, honey-esque gourmand. I get a lot of the caramel in here. I don't get a ton of the floral notes. Honestly, on my skin, it's a lot of the gourmand notes, like the praline, the caramel, the honey comes through in the dry down, the vanilla, the milk. It's not overly lactonic because I will say firsthand, I don't like overly lactonic fragrances. So it's really well balanced with all of the other notes, but it's definitely a dense, heavier gourmand scent. It's going to be in your face. It's going to smell delicious and delectable. This is probably one that I would mainly recommend for the colder months because I do feel like it's a little bit warm, heavy, and dense for a summertime wear. But hey, wear your fragrances the way that you want to. You could always balance it out by layering it, but it is simply delicious. This is for the gourmand girlies all the way through. It does not smell like a traditional perfume. It smells like a dessert. The talk of the town is that this smells like Bianco Latte and they are extremely similar. Not identical, but very, very, very similar. Um, I did a review over on TikTok, and for me, the main difference that I see between this one and Bianco Latte is the texture. Bianco Latte has a more fluffy, whipped, airy quality to it in terms of the texture, while this one is a little bit heavier and denser. So if you like your heavier gourmands, you're going to adore this one, but in terms of the DNA, they are pretty close. Like, I would say 95% close. Bianco latte. It's slightly more lactonic than this one, I will say, in the dry down. But honestly, for the price point, what are you complaining about? This is beautiful. It's so, so good. And it's so gourmand. They did an incredible job in terms of sillage. I do get a big sillage in the first hour and then it subsides slightly, but you still will smell this fragrance for a little while. I say over spray it. If you love this fragrance to be heavier and really long lasting, but I do find that the quality is there. It doesn't feel like this is cheap and generic and it disappears. Not at all whatsoever. It stays on the skin and on the clothes for a couple of hours. Highly recommend for the gourmand girlies. Like you have to love your sweet caramel vanillic fragrance to adore this one because that's what you're going to get. The next fragrance is one that is extremely popular. Um, as soon as I hit TikTok, I saw this all over my For You page. This is a fragrance that everyone talks about. Now I have the 
flanker of the original. I do have the original somewhere up there in my collection. I prefer the flanker, so I'm going to pull up this bottle. But let me say that I'm kind of talking about both because they are equally just as popular, okay? This is Kamara Kwa from Latafa. Again, I have a lot of them from Latafa, I'll be quite honest. And this one is meant to be inspired by Killian's Angel Share. And I will say they are very different. Very, very different. I'm just going to say that from the beginning. So even if you have Angel Share, you can still have this in your collection. I don't get a ton of the cinnamon note that I get from Angel Share. And so they do smell different in my opinion. Same kind of like vibe. Yes. You know, there are fragrances that have a similar vibe, but they're not going to smell equally the same. And that's what I think of this one, right? But when I tell you I love this, I'm not joking. It smells so good, okay? This is definitely one for evenings, for colder months. This is so, oh my God. It's intoxicating, it's inviting, sexy, alluring. This is date night vibes right here. It has this sweetness to it that just like develops over time on the skin. Mm, it makes my mouth water truly. It does have a boozy vibe to it also, but I get a lot of this sweetness and it's not like a sugar sweet. It's just like a, a denser, heavier sweetness that just smells luxurious and not cheap. Oh, this one, the bottle. The bottle is giving very much high end. A lot of these bottles, there are so much weight to this bottle. It's not cheap at all. It feels weighted. And even the cap is not super lightweight either. It is a glass bottle. Do have the plaque here. Mm. I find this one has a little bit more oomph to it. It has a little bit more complexity, more character. And that's why I love this one a lot more. I believe there is also a coffee note in here that is just delectable. It's not too overwhelming, but it's there. Oh, this, this is gorgeous. And this is very much unisex. So you and your man can absolutely wear this fragrance and it's going to smell just as good on him. It's going to smell very luxurious on a man also. Super affordable. I get why this is very hyped up. This one should be hyped up because it is definitely great, great quality. It lasts really well on the skin and there is a sillage to this fragrance. The more that I have it, the better the juice has gotten. It's gotten deeper and the performance has gotten even better. 10 out of 10. And I'm going to be saying that this is probably my least favorite out of the entire bunch that I'm going to talk about. And I don't necessarily feel like you absolutely need it. In all honesty, I don't find, I don't understand the hype. This is Hayati Gold Elixir from Latafa. Again, the bottle is actually really nice. I love, love the bottle. And I think again, quality is there. Like I cannot complain with the quality. Now in terms of the popularity, the hype, the, the craziness that people went through to get this bottle in their hand, I really don't understand it because my expectations were so high, especially by the way it was described, like the most sexiest, gorgeous fragrance. And then when I smelt this one, I'm actually going to spray it on paper. I really didn't get much from this fragrance. I thought that it was quite simple, um, nothing special, nothing stood out to me. And so I pretty much have not worn this scent ever since I picked it up. It slightly did remind me of YSL Lib um, Intense. Yeah, it reminded me of YSL. It's fresh and kind of like citrusy in the opening. And floral also. And musky. It has like this white musk kind of quality. Now, it's not a bad fragrance, okay? I'm smelling it right now. It's not a bad fragrance. It is a really nice wearable scent, especially if you like that fresh mood uplifting kind of citrusy tone in your fragrances. And going in the direction of Libre, um... You will actually like the scent. I just don't think that it's that special. I don't understand the hype. I don't get it. Like it smells, it smells good, but I think I'm comparing it to a lot of the fragrances in my collection. And also because the hype was so real, like people were going crazy over this fragrance. My expectations were really, really high. And I kind of got let down because this just smells like a really great fresh, 
citrusy, vanillic, floral fragrance. It's it's not mind-blowing. There's nothing really unique about this one. And again, I find that it's a slight dupe for YSL Lib. Like, Lib is nice, but it's definitely a little different. It's not identical at all. It just kind of has that vibe. But for me, this was just an okay fragrance. Now, for the price point, I'm going to say it's worth it. <laughs> I'm going to say that it's absolutely worth it because it still smells great. Um, not the most long, long lasting, but you can always overspray, especially when you're paying under $50. I mean, you can, you can go ahead and do a couple of sprays to make this scent last, okay? But for me, this was just an okay fragrance. Next one that I have is one that I fell in love with as soon as I smelled it. Now, I haven't talked about it here on my YouTube channel, but I have talked about it over on TikTok and on Instagram. I do a lot of short form content over there. So you're not following me there. Go ahead and follow me. I do a lot of fragrance, hygiene, smell good content, not just perfume, but we're talking shower routines, hygiene products for women and all of that good stuff. I share a lot of tips and tricks over there. So please don't miss out. It's, it's really like I'm having fun with Instagram and TikTok a whole lot. So follow over there and the family over there is growing quite rapidly. Now this one is from Catlage and it's called Nuha. This fragrance is the epitome of a feminine scent. It smells so good. It smells like a woman, honestly. It's very suave and light and gentle, coconutty, floral. It has a bit of this silky, powdery dry down. Oh my God. Like, I really, really like this one a lot. I am definitely into very much feminine fragrances. And so when this landed in my collection, I just loved it. Oh my God. As soon as you spray this, it just makes you close your eyes and just like relax. It's a very suave, relaxing scent. Super gentle, okay? Like it's not doing too much. Oh my God, I get this creamy and silkiness from this fragrance. Oh, the note breakdown of this fragrance is super appealing and there's a ton of notes that I absolutely love in my fragrances. I'm here on Fragrantica. There's coconut, there's apple, heliotrope, jasmine, rose, there's vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere on. Like that is a perfect combination of such a suave, delicate fragrance. It smells so heavenly, so angelic and so feminine. So please do not sleep on this fragrance. It is so beautiful, appropriate as a signature scent and even for a bride if you are getting married honey this fragrance is stunning next next fragrance is also one that i've already talked about over on my tiktok and instagram it is such a beautiful fragrance because it's in collaboration with quinton beach and if you know anything about fragrances he is a master perfumer that has created some of the most iconic fragrances out there like he literally creates beautiful wearable fragrances that are just perfection and he did collaborate with latafa to create Teriak. hope i'm mentioning i'm pronouncing that correctly but this one is another stunner for me i love this one it is a gourmand leaning fragrance but it doesn't smell overly gourmand it still smells like a fragrance which i really enjoy i haven't worn it too often i will be completely honest and the reason for that is guys i really just need to declutter my collection i have too many fragrances it's becoming overwhelming and a lot of the ones that i love are just not getting the love that they should because i'm bombarded with so many fragrances so i will be doing a huge declutter very soon just to kind of make my collection more enjoyable okay so this one here is like i said more gourmand leaning but not overly gourmand it's still very wearable you still get some of the fruity and floral nuances in this fragrance now let me go ahead and spray this on paper real quick and give you guys a gist of this one i have reviewed it again over on my um instagram and tiktok as soon as this became available i purchased it Purchased it myself with my own money. Like I said, there's a mix of gifting and purchased products. Mm. <laughs> okay, this one's good. This one is good. There are a lot of notes in here. Okay, there's like uh, caramel, there's almond in here, there's rose, there's jasmine, there's of course vanilla. I believe there's cashmere on in here and suede. There are, mm, there's honey in here too. So when you first spray this fragrance, 
it does smell quite fresh. I don't get a ton of the heavier notes like the caramel. I get a lot of the fresh floral notes. Um, there's pink pepper in here also, but as it dries down, you're going to get that caramelly vibe, which gives it that gourmand-esque you know, to this fragrance. I think there is leather, but I don't get a ton of the leather on my skin from what I remember. It just smells good. It smells like a really wearable fragrance. It smells um, easy to wear. Like you can wear this as a signature scent. You can wear this to an occasion at nighttime. You could definitely wear this as a date night fragrance, especially as it develops. You know what? I'm going to spray it here on my skin just to get a little bit more of that scent with my skin. Yeah, the opening, I do get some freshness, some brightness, but a little bit of the spiciness. I think it's from the pink pepper that's in here. Now I'm getting that honey and the honey is just creamy and luscious. It's not overly done because I don't like fragrances that are very honey leaning. I find they make me a little bit nauseous, but this one, it's just adding that creamy texture to this fragrance, especially with the caramel. And there's slightly like a bit of this smokiness also in the dry down, but in the best way possible, I believe I'm getting that from the leather note in here, but it just adds so much like complexity to the fragrance. This to me definitely develops more like a niche fragrance. It's not like you spray it, that's the initial spray and it's gonna stay like that. I find it does develop over time. So one, you have to spray on your skin, let it sit and see how it develops um, throughout the entire wear. So this is definitely on the niche quality for me. Um, the performance is great. It lasts really well on me. Honestly, majority of these ones last really well on me. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. I love the mix of the sweetness with like the smoky, deeper tone of the fragrance. It's done really, really well. It does smell a little sexy to me and quite grown. So for the bottle, for the price point, again, I'm going to say this is worth it. I just get blown away by the fact that these are so affordable. These are not going to cost you $150, $200, $300, $400, 500 These are really, really great price points. And the bottle is just done so beautifully. Beautifully. I sometimes I get speechless. The next fragrance that I'm going to talk about is actually not a traditional fragrance. This is a perfume oil. This had people going crazy. Okay. This had people going absolutely insane. It was so viral that dupes were coming out of something so affordable. Dupes were coming out. Uh, it was so viral that people were trying to resell it for way more expensive than it really is. This one was gifted to me by the brand, by the way, guys, so I know it is authentic. So you really wanna be careful when you are purchasing this particular fragrance oil online, especially on Amazon. So this is another product from Kadlaj. I believe this is called Harim Al Sultan. I'm definitely butchering that. But this is the fragrance oil that went super duper viral. This bottle is absolutely insane. There's a lot going on here, okay? There is a lot going on. Now, when I saw the hype, I was like, is this really gonna be good? Because I have purchased some stuff off of hype on TikTok that have been a fail for me, but I went ahead and tried this one out. The brand reached out and sent it to me and I got the authentic one, which was great because I really didn't wanna buy it on Amazon and get the fake one. Um, this one over here, what I will say about this one, it's probably the most potent fragrance oil I've ever come across. Excuse if my voice was really weird in the last clip. I just realized that my mic was on the floor instead of being right beside me, but it's back now. So this one is very much a loud fragrance oil. Like you can really smell this one. A little goes a long way. You just rub it on your skin and there is quite a big scent bubble, which was really surprising. Um, some fragrance oils just kind of stick closer to the skin and you layer it with perfume. You can probably, you can pretty much much wear this one on its own. Now, what does this smell like? Because the way that people hype this up and all of the descriptions were a little all over the place. So when you open it up, you have this little thing. I just rub it on the skin and that is exactly how I put it on and kind of rub it in. This to me smells very fruity, very tropical, very juicy, and a little bit of this kind of musky, kind of woody dry down. That's ultimately what I get from this oil. Do I think it's worth the hype? To be completely honest, uh, 
I do find that it's a good oil, but I don't find that it is blowing me away, to be really honest. I like it. I think it smells great. I like that I have it in my collection and I can layer it with other fragrances, especially now this time of the year with that tropical note in here. I believe there's like peach and pineapple, but I don't think you need to go crazy to find this one and add it to your collection. I'm gonna be really honest. Now, if you're a girl that loves your tropical fruity scents, you're going to absolutely love this scent for sure, especially if you're into pineapple and peach, really juicy tropical notes. But I will remind you that in the dry down, it's a lot more suave. You get a bit of this like, almost like musky dry down, honestly. But um, I like it. I haven't worn it out of the house, to be completely honest. It's kind of like has been tucked away in my collection. Um, so I would say if you can get it, get it, try it out because again, really, really affordable, but I wouldn't say run, don't walk as the Gen Z's would like to refer to. <laughs> We have the Yada Sisters. Now I know that there is a black one that's supposed to go with this collection. I don't have it. I just have these through, these three. Now these are very, very hyped, like extremely hyped, okay? Everybody talks about this, especially the original Yada, which is the pink one. Let's go through these. Again, I've already reviewed, I've had them for a little bit and I reviewed them over on TikTok and Instagram. Now the original Yada, some people, we're mentioning that this is like a dupe for Delina from Parfums de Marley. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. This is a whole other fragrance on its own. I even give it like more on the vibe of Burberry Her Elixir. It has that like almost like strawberry s creamy vibe. But Delina, I don't get that. I do not get what people are talking about. It doesn't smell like Delina at all. Now, I will say that it's a nice fragrance. It's very fluffy. It's very feminine, but it's not my favorite from the three whatsoever. I don't find that it is um, anything too special, but it smells ultra feminine. So if you like that, if you like something a little bit softer, slightly powdery also, it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, to me, again, I get more of Burberry Her Elixir in this fragrance as opposed to Delina. Delina has that sharpness. Delina has that tartiness. And I don't get this at all from this fragrance. I get more of like this creaminess, this fluffiness, sweetness. So it is a really nice fragrance. It's very fluffy. It's very uh, feminine, but it's nothing that I go crazy for. The next one is Yada Moy, and I really like the packaging in the white version. Honestly, it looks a little bit more elegant, but they're all very good weighted, so good quality. Even though they are plastic, I do find that they are really, really good quality. Now, this version is supposed to be more white florals. It's supposed to be a little bit more woody, has some patchouli in here. Um, it has some sandalwood also in here. Now, when I smell this one, I definitely get a lot more of the white white floral. Yeah, I really, really like this one. It smells a little bit more refined, a little bit more sophisticated. It smells like something that you would find at Sephora, to be honest, especially with the designer fragrances. It smells quite crowd pleasing in my opinion. And if you love white floral fragrances, you will really enjoy this one. To me, this is a really nice, elegant, affordable fragrance. Honestly, like it's done really right. I do get some of that patchouli in here. It's not too heavy. It kind of reminds reminds me of like, mm, what does this remind me of? It's going in the realm of Miss Dior, but it's not like, you know, it doesn't have that super rosy tone that Miss Dior has, but it kind of reminds me of those type of fragrance DNAs, very classic and very wearable and crowd pleasing. That's what I get from this fragrance. It's nothing too overwhelming, too unbearable, and it just smells like something that I would buy and wear willingly. <laughs> so this is one that it's not unique. It's not something that's gonna blow your mind, but it is a really, really nice, elegant fragrance. So highly, highly recommend this one. Last but not least, this is Yada Toys. I think Toys, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I will link everything down below. From the look of this bottle, you know that this is going to be a lot more fun. It's very tropical, bubbly. It has a lot of gorgeous fruits in here, okay? There is, of course, mango, there's passion fruit, there's coconut, it's very cheap 
juicy. It's very modern and perfect for a vacation, okay? You got a tropical vacation coming up. This is the fragrance that you want in your collection, especially for the affordability. It is insane. I do really like this one. You still will get some of the white florals in here, like the jasmine and orange blossom, and the vanilla, of course, is in here. Oh yeah, this is the kind of fragrance that just like mood, like you know, it uplifts your mood. It makes you happy, puts a smile on your face because it just smells good. It smells fun. It smells refreshing, juicy. It makes your mouth water. I definitely get a lot of that mango. It's juicy and it's just, wow, this one is good. This one is good. Again, it's one that you would probably find in a niche kind of brand because I don't find a lot of designer houses do very tropical-esque fragrances. I do not find that. I see a lot of like the florals. That's what I see, the fruity florals, but not very like mango and passion fruit and coconut, like those really juicy ones. You might get that from like a Floral Street or an Ellis Brooklyn or even Fleur, but not like your YSL or your Armani's. I don't feel like they do fragrances like this. This is really nice. Oh man. I get more of the coconut in the dry down. It's borderline kind of like a Santan lotion-y fragrance with like a very juicy uh, tropical fragrance. Like if they combine together, that is what you get from this one. And you can definitely overspray this one. I don't find it to be super duper long lasting and it's not like heavily beast mode, but the longevity and also the performance is really good. Like it, like for the price point, it's really good. It's not weak at all, but it's not beast mode, if that makes any sense. So definitely you can overspray this one. And it's going to last you quite a few hours. I would say about five hours and you could top it up after that if you really need to. But honestly, if you're going on a vacation or if you just like a tropical scent, especially for the summertime, this is absolutely gorgeous. Like I can see myself in a really nice outfit by the beach, you know, skin is glistening. You got some body glow going on. Oh my God. This is, this is, this is it. This is it. So out of the two, I like these two. If I was to pick only one, I would go with this one. I really, really like this one. This is a little bit more sophisticated. I have scents that kind of give me this vibe. And I think that's why I don't have a ton of tropical fragrances. So that's why I prefer this one. So those are the main fragrances that are super duper hyped up that I wanted to give you guys my opinion on and let you know if I think it's worth the price point. Honestly, the way that they are priced, absolutely. The price point is not in question here. It's more so how do they perform? What do they smell like? So I hope this video was helpful, but I do want to talk about one little fragrance here that is brand new. Uh, it's brand new. And, um, this is from the brand Catalage again, it's called secret musk. As soon as I spray this one, I knew immediately what it was supposed to smell like. First of all, let's talk about this packaging because wow, wow, wow. Does that not look beautiful? Like, because the packaging is always on point. They're never giving you minimalistic packaging. They're giving you over the top. They're giving you sophistication. They're giving you money. Okay. This looks so beautiful. I really like the bottle. Now the perfume and it comes in a really nice solid box right over here, which is insane. I will link this one down below. It's a new one. Like I said, this is a spot on dupe for Arabian Tonka from Montau. Spot on dupe. I have been wanting to add that one to my collection, but I've kind of been like, eh. spot on dupe, spot on dupe, honey. And this is really affordable. Like I said, I'm not into a lot of dupes, but when a good one comes out, honey, I will gladly take it. And this is good. <sighs> Intoxicating, sexy money. It's giving expensive. It's giving luxury. It is so addictive. If you have sampled Arabian Tonka and you just don't want to buy a full size bottle, but you want the scent at an affordable price point, I'm not kidding you. Like, don't even think about it right here. This is definitely a scent that I will be wearing. In the evening, mainly, I do find it very intoxicating, very alluring and like dark and a little mysterious. My husband is also going to wear this because this is perfectly unisex. It's confident. It's a confidence scent. It's not one that you just grab and you go to Walmart. 
No. You get dressed, you do your makeup, you're going out to a fancy restaurant, maybe you're going to an event. This is something that you would wear because it is quite memorable. Oh, I'm so excited to have this one in my collection. I will be linking all the products down below. If I think of any other fragrances that I absolutely think you guys should check out, I will link it down below and I could do a part two. I am getting into more Arabian fragrances. I've added quite a few in my collection. These are just the most viral ones and I wanted to kind of plug this one in because I know my ladies are going to love this one and the fellas too. But yeah, please, please, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to see what you want to see next on the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram especially we are dropping gems after gems on Instagram having lots of fun doing fun funny content but also really great tips and tricks on hygiene for the ladies especially okay we're not keeping any secrets over there so follow me on Instagram um thank you so much for watching give this video a like share it with all your smell good friends and I will see you guys on the next one ciao